Please get seated. Last week, veteran opposition politician Dr. Chizabesji unveiled what he called a People's Cabinet and People's Assembly three years after he saw himself as president following his defeat in the 2016 presidential elections. <laughs> When Besije declared himself the people's president in 2016, he claimed he was protesting against a rigid election and he announced intentions to set up a parallel government that reflected the true will of the people. Now, according to the FDC spokesperson Ibrahim Simiju Nganda, the launch of the so-called People's Cabinet and Assembly is simply a fulfillment of the promises made in 2016. The decision to form the people's government was reached by the FDC and the colleagues that sponsored and supported the candidate of Dr. Kiza VSG in the last election. So the time Dr. Kiza VSG was in prison, we took a decision as FDC and all the other platforms that supported his candidate that because we are sure we won these elections, we will form a government. Nganda says the People's Assembly is one of a number of strategies to empower citizens to effect regime change. The idea was that uh, we will need to continue battling with this regime. You don't fold your hands and go home and sleep and maybe cast the regime when it corrupts. FDC has also expressed its concerns over recent statements by the president and the commander of the Special Forces Command that seem to point towards worsening relations with a number of countries in the region. We would like to know from Seven and his uh, commanders. What has happened between undertakings made between Uganda and Rwanda? 